Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's Two Minute Tuesday video, I'm going to show you guys two tricks in under two minutes uh, that will help speed up your productivity when setting up drawings and your sheets in particular. So let's get started. <laughs> You can see here that I've got just a standard initial drawing. Uh, in the model space, I've got a site plan uh, with our park area. And in the layout, we've just got the default layout. So the first tip is going to be uh, inserting layouts from a template. Uh, and a template is simply a, an AutoCAD file saved as a .dwt. And this is going to contain all of your standard uh, blocks, layouts, uh, styles, annotation styles, scales, uh, any of that. So to make one, you can simply uh, save a drawing that you've kind of cleaned out. So you get rid of all the drawing material, like any of the stuff in model space, but you leave in all your styles and save that as a DWT to get started. Ideally, you want to have different layouts set up in it. Uh, so I'm going to bring one in from a layout or from a template to show you guys right now. So we're going to right click on the layout tab. We're going to go to from template. And then I'm going to use my standard one that you can get on my uh, on my website, Cat Intentions. And we're going to hit open and it's going to ask me which layout size I want. Uh, so we're going to use 11 by 17 landscape and hit OK. So you can quickly do this yourself just by saving your title blocks into a DWT. So it's brought in my 11 by 17 title block. Uh, we're going to simply add in a viewport by going to the Layout tab, and we're going to add in a rectangular, and we can just quickly select the extents here, and we're going to see it's added in a layout. So now that we've got our layout set up, another tip, uh, number two here, is going to be automating your sheet number here. So you can see I've already automated some of the text in this layout. Uh, these are linked to sheet set properties. I'm going to show you quickly how to automate your drawing number or name uh, so that it automatically uses the name of your layout. This can be just a little quick uh, trick to speed up the process or if you're changing them a lot you can just change the layout names and it's going to update your drawing number. So we're going to click the right click the text that would be your uh, drawing name or number and we're going to say insert field. Now under here we're going to go down to system variables down here and we're going to look for the C tab right there. And this is going to grab the text that is in the tab name and it's going to populate it in your uh, drawing or figure number. Uh, you can choose to force uppercase or you can leave it as is, which I tend to do. And you're just going to hit OK. So you can see it's weirdly added in the name of our layout, but where this will come in handy is if you uh, update your drawing number here and then just type in regen, it will automatically update your drawing number. And you can do this with all of your uh, layouts. So if you're copying this layout here, you can see that it's automatically updated it to match the layout name. So you can change that to 102 or 101, let's say and regen and saving also uh, regenerates the text as well. So there you go. Two tips in hopefully roughly two minutes. Uh, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what kind of tip you guys would like to see. Uh, or if you'd like a longer form video explaining one of these uh, tips or something else in AutoCAD, let me know and I'll add it to the list. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here. Make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.